The recent increase of Denver's population comes with higher rent rates, which has many searching for a place to live and in many cases, leaving people unemployed. One local nonprofit organization is helping out the homeless youth community one coffee cup at a time. Not all people that are homeless are bad, and people can get put in bad situations to end up homeless, but it's up to them whether or not they want to stay that way. Drug use, homelessness, and prison stops. Things that Sativa Walling is leaving behind in her self-rediscovery, thanks to Purple Tar Coffee Shop's unique opportunity that is helping her ground her life. Um, we exist to provide supportive, meaningful, and transitional employment to homeless young adults who are working to exit homelessness. Since a young age, Sativa has battled through multiple hardships that haven't made her life journey an easy one. But that didn't mean she was giving up. I was homeless from the time I was 12 until I went to prison in 2014. So it's just a choice, like you have to be tired of it. For the past three years, Purple Door has provided a year-long program to young adults like Sativa, teaching them not only practical skills, but also offering emotional support along the way. The end all that we want anyone to ever leave our program with is knowing that they um, are worthy of love and belonging and that they have unsurpassable value for us. Because of the support that I have here, I was able to pick myself up and keep going. And it takes a special place with a special name like Purple Door to provide this type of opportunity. Purple is historically the color of royalty. And so we believe that anyone who enters our doors, uh, no matter where they've been, what they've done, what they haven't done, their station in life, should be treated like royalty. Like, I really appreciate it a lot, because I have people right now that believe in me that I never had before.